it's all about the guys tonight. And, you know, we started the show based off of R&B, so it's great that we have some of R&B's newest and brightest here tonight. He's been here on the show before, but it's been almost two years since I've spoken to Luke James. He's been a little shady to me, but I forgive him because he's been doing some big and great things. Welcome back to TKIF, Luke James! What it is, what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, you, you know I had to hit you with that. It's been so long since the last time you were here. Yeah, it is. It is, man. It's been a beautiful ride, though. Definitely. You've been busy. Grammy nomination. You've been everywhere. You've been performing everywhere with everyone, opening for everyone. I mean, what? I mean, the ride. Can you just explain what that feels like? You know, do you feel different? I mean, I definitely feel different, man. I definitely feel uh, a lot stronger. I think my confidence is is uh, is really up. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm I'm just you know I'm just looking forward to the next thing, man. Everything is I feel, man. I'm not even looking back. It's beautiful. Most definitely, most definitely, Luke. You know, you the the biggest thing you know a lot of people want to know is you know the fact that you opened up for um, Beyonce. Uh, on her Mrs. Carter World Tour. You were in Europe, and then you were here in the States. And every, I'm sure everyone's asking, oh, what was that experience like? Okay, we can, we can, you can check that on someone else's show. But tonight, yeah. <laughs> we want to know behind the scenes, because you know she released a behind the scenes, and you were there behind the scenes with the dancers acting crazy. Behind the scenes, can you tell us one of the craziest things or the, the, the funnest you know, things that you've done um, as a part of that tour? I mean, you know, it's, it's, I mean, I guess it's similar to any other tour, but kind of not. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, you know, she, everybody, she everybody's just on, on, on 10 mm -hmm. on the Mrs. Carter tour. You know, everybody's just great and just humble and, and welcoming. And, and it's like a family, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I had a great time, and I spent most of my time with the dancers and whatnot. Most of them I've known uh, before, before uh, the tour and stuff, and so... Just really hanging out and just seeing sightseeing, you know, seeing all of the world with them. I mean, experiences. I mean, it's just been great, you know. We some couple jokes here and there, you know, uh, uh, a couple pop here and there. I mean, a lot of stuff. I mean, but it's, it's nothing outlandish. It's not nothing crazy. Like it would never happen to anyone else. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did, was there was there something that happened though that where you were like, oh wow, I didn't know that happened behind the scenes. Uh. You know what? I, I don't know. It's not, nothing like uh, nothing dramatic. I, I would say, it's been, everything's been just really copacetic and, and cool, just chill. And um, I mean, we we had some good old parties, man. After the shows, we just party, like you know, just once the boss lady goes off, you know what I mean? <laughs> Me, I stay around. I I go ahead and uh, go ahead and party, and you know, catch a few little you know drinks here and there, and uh, a couple couple dance steps, but that about it. <laughs> you know? So you, get on to the next city, man. You know, handle it again. Do you think you know from that experience that it sort of helped you as an artist progress? Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, the, from the people that I've met, that I was allowed to meet, whatnot. You know, I've definitely progressed as a, as an artist and as an individual, um, as a businessman as well. You know, just seeing how you know Beyonce moves, you know, with her business and whatnot, and. Uh, you know, just getting pointers from her and, you know, from, from her husband and stuff, just just being really chill and cool to me and, and just, you know, dropping some jewels on me and letting me know about certain things. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just been a great experience, man. Can you, drop some, look, can you drop some jewels on us? You know, once you get information, you need to spread it. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know what, I, you know, what I've gotten from, from uh, Mrs. Carter and Mr. Carter, you know, Mrs. and Mrs. Carter, uh, <laughs> Is that you know just stand your ground, you know, truly believe in what it is that you do. Stay, stay there. Don't, don't waver, no matter what, no matter what the crowd. You know, you, I mean, some people say you know you gotta move with the crowd or whatnot, but when you're when you're introducing yourself as an artist, as a new artist to an audience that does not know you, mm -hmm. you know, you can't waver because you think they're gonna like this. You gotta give them exactly what you get from anyone else, and what is what that is is you, truly you, who you, you are. And um, I've gotten that advice from both of them. Definitely. So, you know, I've been really standing my ground on who I am, you know, uh, and I believe in my and for the audience, my, my, my friends, my fans, everybody, they believe it too. You know, I, I, I got some questions from your fans, and one of the questions that, that they asked, and I thought was really great, 
was that you know you because you opened for her in Europe and you opened for her in the states. What are, what is what's the differences between the audiences and their response to you? Ah, uh, I mean, in Europe, you know, people. Are, I mean, in Europe is a little it's, it's a little weird. Uh, in Europe, they're a bit more receptive. They're mm -hmm. really uh, they're just open, a little bit more open mm -hmm. than the U.S. I would say. In the U.S., you know, you really just gotta go. You really gotta either they don't if they don't if they know you, then cool. But if they don't know you. You kind of got to sit up on fire and live through it to, to impress, uh, yeah, it's just that kind of thing. And um, I'm willing to do that, you know, every night. Every yeah. night I'm, I was lighting that stage up before, before she went on. So, you know, I mean, proof is there, you know. You look at the comments, you can look at everything. I mean, I don't think I've seen anything ne like strong, strongly negative towards me or whatnot. I'm just showing and proving what it is that I can do, and hopefully I'm, I'm inspiring others to get out there and do exactly what it is they want to do, whatever makes them happy. You know, a lot of artists, you know, you know, that have been in the business for a long time, they say, you know, don't read the blogs, don't read the comments, especially. Do you actually, you know, especially because, you know, you're opening up for Beyonce and you're just trying to get a feel of what people are saying. But do you do you do do you listen to the blogs? Do you read the comments and that kind of thing? I do. I do. There's a part of me that says don't because that's like the artist in me. Like, I don't care what nobody else thinks. Uh -huh. But then at the same time, I'm, I'm a man I want to know that people are you know you know messing with, with messing with you know my my material with what it is that I'm doing and I, I just like to you know you know it can help your morale or it could, or it could destroy your morale you know but for yeah. me the negative the negative to the positive it doesn't, it doesn't do nothing but, but make me stronger you know what I mean I, I don't I don't I mean I don't fear nothing there ain't nothing on this earth or anywhere else that I fear, so it don't really, nothing somebody can say to me that'll just make me say, oh, I'm not going to sing anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can definitely see that fearlessness when you hit the stage. There, there is this energy that's just like, you know, I'm going to go for it, especially vocally, and you definitely go for it. If you guys just tuned in, we're here with Luke James, Grammy nominee. How does that feel like? We have to add that uh, oh, you know, anytime we introduce yeah. you. Grammy nominee. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's pretty wild, too, man. I'm, I'm, you know what, man, I've just been blessed, man. I can't lie. I, you know, I knew this was going to all happen. It's just, I didn't, I mean, it's just, I mean, of course, you don't know the feeling until it happens to you, so it's just a different kind of feeling for me. Um, but, but to, have, to, to be Grammy nominated, to even just get acknowledged by the Grammy committee, you know, it's, um, it's out of this world, you know, it's it's a, it's a, it's something I've been watching on TV for forever, you know, and, and just just dreaming of being on stage or dreaming of walking that red carpet one day or at least being nominated or just even being the number of people that are sitting in the crowd, you know, mm -hmm. um, that matter. Um, so to be nominated, uh, it's just out of this world, man. When they told me, when I got the news, when I got the text, I just, uh, I didn't believe it. I really did not believe it. I just wanted to go to sleep. Wake up the next day and assess the situation properly. You know? <laughs> I definitely believe it because I I love that song. That's one of the reasons why we had you here on the show almost two years ago, uh, and we yeah. had a really great conversation. If you guys want to hear that interview, you can go to, to our YouTube and check it out there. Um, but you know, two years later, the album. When can yeah. we expect the album? I know that you just today released the teaser for Oh God featuring Hit Boy. First of all, tell us, tell us a little bit about what we can expect from the video, and then let's talk about the album. Well, the video, man, wow. Uh, you know, the video was directed uh, by Sarah McCogan. Mm -hmm. um, she's an amazing, amazing, amazing uh, uh, filmmaker um, and uh, photographer. Uh, and, I mean, I just had a joyous time uh, doing it. My, my bro, Hit Bull, when we did the record together, mm -hmm. and, I mean, he came through for the video, we made that video, I mean, it just, I can't, I don't want to talk about the video, I don't want to talk about it at all, I actually just want people to just wait for it, you know what I mean, it comes out on the 13th, okay. it's going to be major, you know what I mean, it's just, a, you know, it's just putting a little bit more bedazzle, bedazzle on, on the video world, you know what I mean, like just kind of taking, taking, taking from Michael Jackson, you know, making, making everything a moment, making yeah. everything an event, you know, and, uh, you know, you know, I'm, it's just that's just what God is. You know, what you feel in the music, you're gonna feel that ten times more watching the video. 
and that's and that's so, one thing that's one thing we've we've noticed with you, especially as as er, things have progressed. It ha it's everything's kind of been very clean, organized, and you know a lot of that's not happening in R and B with a, a lot of other artists. So it's really cool to see that you, as a new artist, are really, you know, setting setting the bar really high for yourself. Well, man, I mean, I just you know, if you see yourself, I mean, I guess put it like this: if you see yourself as a peasant, then you'll be a peasant. Glory. See yourself as a king, and you will be. A you are a king. That's just what it is. Hey, you know, I'm just I, dropping I, jewels I, here. What's going on? <laughs> I, I mean, you gotta, you kind of like you dream big. You know, why, why dream small? Why dream minimum? Mm. That's, you know, life is too short to not respect your time. On like, you gotta take take every moment for what it is. It's bad asking in, in in like my moment. You know what I mean? Just like now just basking in the idea that I spoke to you a year or two ago and we're talking again how much has changed yeah. you know what I mean Most it could be a lot different I cannot be here I could be sick I could be you know what I mean like, vice versa so mm -hmm. you just be you know just really basking in the moment of greatness which you are still here for a reason and uh, anything that I do I'm going to put a million if I can get all I I'm going to give it all I got you know so that's how we try you know, my team, that's that's how we think, just go big. Definitely. We jumped on a big tour. We jumped on a, a, a the biggest tour in the world. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Opening up for her, I could have cut my tail and ran home and said, ah, stage, she got dances, she got pyros, she got all <laughs> this and that, and I just got a, a, a mic and a lot. You know what I mean? I could have went home on, on that note, but, but, but why, why live that way? You know, go in. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Now, if you guys just tuned in, we're here with, of course, Luke James. James, or Luke, whatever you want to call you right now. <laughs> Luke, first of all, <laughs> first of all, um, the new album. Everyone's waiting for that. You know, we've been playing IOU, the remix, all of that. You know, and of course, Whispers in the Dark. But everyone wants to know, the debut album, when can we expect it? And what can we expect from it? Well, honestly, man, I'm just looking at the, uh, the album to be in fall. Okay, that's right. Paul. Um, I've always, like I've said before, you know, many times to other people that I, I'm not in a rush. Mm -hmm. You know, honestly, this is taking, it's taking the time. Yeah. Um, and everything is happening for happening for a reason. Um, just got off a major tour. I'm looking to do more. I got more festivals and stuff, and just getting my name in there, and just you know, putting myself on on, on stage, and you know, people can really see and and get into who I am. So therefore, they have. Some type of incident. It's been there harder for for my thirteen song, fourteen song CD. You feel know I me? Mean? So, I mean, uh, that's what I'm doing, man. Just promoting myself and uh, we got things coming, man. We got a movie coming out in November, yeah. uh, November twenty eighth. Black Nativity. I mean, that's gonna be awesome. That's my first feature film, and uh, forward to doing more. You know, and just spreading my wings, really. So, uh, was was, act, album. was acting something that you always wanted to do, or did this sort of kind of pop up and fall into your lap? No, acting is something I've always wanted to do. All aspects of entertainment, mm -hmm. you know. I always, always, I've always thought myself uh, to be some someone like Sammy Davis Jr. Mm. You know, um, just I mean, having your own talk show to movies to big time to, to to music. I think anything you can pop possibly do, you know, I would try to do it, you know, and um, that's what's happening, man. Acting was definitely something I wanted to get into, but I mean, music comes first. Yeah. Music, I've spent, I've spent more than 10,000 10, hours doing, so um, acting, I haven't, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, right now I'm learning I'm learning the craft. I want to be great at it. I don't want to be, I don't want to half-ass anyone's art, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I don't want to disrespect anybody, just like I wouldn't want no one to just come up uh, singing and just singing for no reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, you mentioned Sammy Davis Jr. Would you be open to, you know, doing the movie, the biopic on on his life and playing him? Definitely. Oh, I can see it. <laughs> definitely. I could definitely see it. Luke, first of all, um, the the album you said possibly in the fall. Any yep. collaborations that we that we should look out for on there? Um, besides the ones that you know of Wale, um, Hip Boy, okay. of course. Um, and everything else, uh, you, you know, I mean, I've, I've collaborated with 
Slime Remedy, Ninja, of course, mm-hmm. um, Paul Kelly, Child Legend, you know, um, but it's still, you know, it's not, everything's not finalized, so it's just, I mean, to even mention names and whatnot, uh, it's, it's kind of like they're jumping the gun a little bit for the songs that you already know. You know, you're you, you, already out. You're really good. You're, I mean, you're really in there with Beyonce. I mean, I could see a duet. You know, is that something that's, you know, in the air? I mean, I, I, can, <laughs> I, can, I can see that, too. But, you know, uh, I, was, I always look at what we're doing. What, we, what, what I just done with her, what she allowed me to do. Yeah. Like, coming on tour with her, that's our duet. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just I was look at it that way. You know that's Definitely. Definitely. Look, She's giving me a stage, and I'm really grateful to her and and and, and the Mrs. Carter team. Definitely, and sh- shout out to your fans. Your fans have been hitting us up and you know spreading the word and listening to the interview. So shout out to them. Uh, uh, shout Sh- out, Shondry, She she said, ask him the meaning of his tattoos. Meaning of my tattoos. <laughs> How many do you uh, got, Luke? <laughs> uh, I got like uh, eleven or twelve. Wow. I think, yeah, 11. About 11, 11 tattoos. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, different things. They're like spread out. I'm like, a, my friends call me something like a passport. <laughs> you know, but I mean, for me, it's all, it's all a feeling. It's a meaning. Everything means something. Um, I guess the one on my arm that goes up my arm, the writing, uh, it's in French. Uh, it means uh, it's a prayer, basically. It's a uh, old love ever burning and never extinguished love. My, I set me on fire. Um. Something I believe in. Uh, you know, I just want to be a ball of light uh, to the world. You know, um, I guess a lot of people talk talk a lot about the tattoos under my arms. Uh, two tattoos, the triangles, the yellow, the um, roses, the roses on the inside. Um, they, they mean for me the Delta the Delta things change. The roses symbolize love. Um, and I, I do believe that love can fall, and that's my that's my belief. And that's just what it is. That's, so that's two tattoos, and that's it. <laughs> you have to you have to, you have to come back and explain the rest to us at another time, Luke. But before we let you go, you know, anytime we have people come here on the show, I know it's over the phone, but can you just sing a little something for your fans that are listening? Okay, just a little. Uh, something. Well, you give to me. I owe you. That's what I'm talking about. Even over the phone, he sounds great. <laughs> for, you know, for everyone, you know, you have to come back when the album comes out. I don't want it to be two years from now, please. <laughs> oh, man. It, 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 it. When I come, when I come back, it's gonna be all good. We have a whole lot more to talk about. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Congratulations on everything. The music, the movie. We definitely have to go check that out in November. Um, but what else should, should be on the lookout for? Of course, the video's coming out on the 13th, right? Oh God. That's right. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just we got we got a lot, we got a lot. Of, I mean, a lot of things are coming about, man. I mean, we got coming uh, strawberry vapors. Uh, video will be coming shortly after. Okay. I mean, I, I just, you know, but, you know, just keep, stay on the lookout, stay, you know, stay alert, stay in contact with me, you know. Uh, Instagram is Wolf James W-O-L-L, James. Uh, Twitter, who is who? James. My blog is The Great Luke James. And, um, I mean, I'm doing shows here and there. Stay tuned, you know, you know. Get ready we have all that, all those details for your, all your just, <laughs> Luke James here on TKI Think Campus Friday. Again, guys, we'll be posting everything that you need to know about Luke on our Facebook and our Twitter, so make sure you guys are following us. Everything is Kempai Radio. Luke, thank you so much for being here on the show. We're going to play the, the single that's available on iTunes right now. It's called I-O-U. Thanks, Luke. Thank you.